welcome to Elsinore and the new exciting Maritime Museum of Denmark. The museum is situated in and around the dry dock of the former shipyard. In order to not obstruct the view to Elsinore Castle here in the back, the World Heritage Site and of course the seating of Prince Hamlet, uh, hardly anything is visible above ground. Constructions were concluded in the autumn of 2013 and the project was conceived by the architectural group BIG, the Bjarke Inkels Group. Literally thinking outside the box one might say, the idea is to place the museum not so much in the old dry dock as in a subterranean space created around the dry dock which is placed almost diagonally inside this space. Finally, the dry dock is crossed by a number of bridges connecting the galleries on each side. On the face of it, a simple yet bold and fascinating idea. And the result, as I hope you'll be able to appreciate from this presentation, is no less intriguing. Following this first installation, tuning us into the maritime universe, the first topic relates to the image and social impact of the seafarers. For now, just a few glimpses of the exhibition regarding the construction of the museum before we move on to the life of the seafarer ashore and at sea, family life and working life. A beautiful model of the traditional general cargo vessel Justine Mask from 1952. As a former seafarer myself, I find this focus on the seafarer quite refreshing and I don't remember having seen anything like it at any other maritime museum. Obviously, here the theme is about the art of navigation. Model of one of the famous white swans, arguably the most beautiful vessels ever built for the Danish Merchant Marine. 
and delivered from the yard in Elsinore, 1962. Angdom Mask from 1963 and the magnificent Frederick VIII, an Atlantic liner from 1913. At the most faraway corner, the Time Rig, an installation bringing the exhibition to a truly artistic level. The exhibition about the construction of the museum is featured in uh, the Bridge Arcades. But even after having seen the layout, the plans and the models of the construction of the museum, it loses none of its intrigue or allure. Everything seems to be sloping walls, the ceilings, the floors, and no two surfaces seems to be parallel to each other. Actually, it brings to memory how it feels to be on board a ship moving in the sea. The slopes, the different levels, the complicated layout and the fact that we are underground makes it easy to lose one's bearing. It complicates navigation. This part of the exhibition illustrates the crucial role of maritime transport as the very fiber and backbone of globalization. Including this eight meters long model of the presently world's largest container vessel, the Mass McKinley Muller. vessels navigating the globe. These models of large modern tanker and bulk vessels are at the same scale but are still dwarfed by the humongous container vessel.
Visiting the cafe, I finally find a passage leading out onto the floor of the dry dock, offering you these fascinating perspectives. recommend that you pay a visit and uh, we'll bring below relevant links so you can find additional information about the architects and the museum itself of course.